Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to try to flush my Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580, which is the non limited and the non special edition with the BIOS of special edition and limited edition. As you can see, it's running here with the original stop. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush it with the special edition BIOS and see if it works. And if it works, then I'll go for the limited edition BIOS and see if it works again. Uh, for disclaimer, please do not attempt this on your own because it's actually very risky as you may break your GPU. I'm just trying it out because I can't seem to resist. So one of the benefits of flushing your, your GPU is that you can boot up your CPU with the overclock settings. So for example, the original stock here is 14.11 and every time if I want to get it to 14.30 or 14.50, I will need to go into the AMD Radeon settings every time I open my PC. So if you flush it with the BIOS of Special Edition which will run at 14.30 or Limited Edition which will run in 14.50, your PC will boot up with that. GPU speed. What I'm going to do now, the first step is to use this tool called the ATI Flash. I'll put a download link in the description below and I'll start this ATI Win Flash and run as administrator. So, as you can see, I've started the program here and you can see this is my current BIOS. And the new BIOS is empty now because I haven't put in any new BIOS here. And here are all the details here. And the first thing I'm going to do now is to back up my current BIOS. So you can click the save here. And then save your current BIOS. I'll put it as 14.11 so it indicates my current speed. And save it. So as you can see here, it's already saved here. But uh, this is in the ROM format, so I'll just rename it to a dot .rom. Okay, so now we're going to download the BIOS here. I use this website, Tech Power Out, and I search for RX 580. And I search for RX 580 here. Now as you can see, the ROM that I'm going to download is this one. The RX 580 8GB version, Nitro Plus Special Edition, which runs at 1430 here and 2100 for the memory speed and I will only download the 8GB version because the, my current card is 8GB and the next one is this, the second last one this is the Nitro Plus Limited Edition which runs at 1450 but the red memory speed is running at 2000MHz so you can go inside and click it and download it like, for, like so then you download and download this as well for information I have already downloaded it and I have Rename it based on the GPU speed here. 1430 is for the special edition, 1450 is for the limited edition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flush this BIOS in onto my GPU now. So uh, the first one will be the special edition which is the 1430. Okay. Now to begin flushing your GPU, you just need to click this load image. So I'll click it now. And then select 1430 and then click program. This will flush your GPU. Please wait, flushing in progress. Please do not turn off your CPU right now. And so it says that your VBIOS was programmed successfully. You will have to reboot this system before it takes effect. So it's rebooting now. So it doesn't seem like it's booting and so I may need I will have to turn off my CPU now and then go into my second BIOS here push to the left side and then restart my PC again So as you can see, I'm back into my PC now with the second BIOS. So what I'm going to do now is to 
push the switch back to the first BIOS that I have bricked. I'm going to try to flash back my stock BIOS again. So load the image. 14.11 here. Make sure it is on the first BIOS switch. And then click program. Successful. Then I'm going to restart my CPU. As you can see here, I've recovered it well. Well then, the BIOS for Special Edition does not work on my Sapphire Nitro Plus. I wonder why. Welcome back my PC and my GPU. So just to prove that, I'm flashback my GPU here. I'm going to launch this Tech Power Out GPU Z here. As you can see, it's back to a 14 level now. So I'm back to the stock GPU speed. So I guess my experiment failed, but thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and share this video as this video will actually teach you uh, how to recover your, how to back out your GPU original BIOS and then put it back if anything fails. So thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Ciao.